What's up guys, welcome back to RX Angler. So today we're gonna to have a fishing reel review. A lot of you guys have been asking me to put more on the channel, so therefore that's what we're gonna be doing today. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new Shimano Calcutta Conquest BFS HG. <laughs> Man, that's, that's a mouthful. I've been using this particular reel on the channel for about a good four months now. A lot of you guys have been seeing me use this on my channel and actually commented in the videos that you see me catch a big fish with this, what kind of reel am I using? And I've actually told you guys in the comment section, but today I want to do a thorough review on this nice little conventional round reel and let you guys know if it's worth the investment to purchase this because this is only a Japanese and I believe Australia market reel that's available in their markets, not in the US unfortunately. Now if you have been following me on my channel, you guys know I'm all about throwing finesse baits like the Bugs Fishing Lures, the 1 16th ounce all the way up to 3 16 ounce, maybe even a quarter ounce. I throw lightweight lures to catch big fish in the marsh system, brackish salt water, nasty water. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, what does BFS mean? Yes, so in Japan, they have a fishing craze or a fishing trend going on over there and the anglers in Japan I like to catch these small little trouts and sea bass and sea trouts using light finesse lures and it's called BFS because it stands for bait finesse system and it's a craze that's going on in Japan and if you guys have noticed that it's actually starting to come here in the US and you're seeing a lot of anglers move into the ultralight rod and reel setup. The reason why I like to go light lures especially all the way down to 1 16th is when I'm sight casting redfish or I'm sight casting a blow up trying to catch a game fish in the marsh system on my kayak I need light lures number one because I can be a little bit more accurate with them and number two they don't make a big splash so therefore giving me a better chance not to spook the fish and catching them on the drop. One thing you do notice about this reel is the fit and finish of this reel itself it is high quality the fit and finish the attention to detail that Shimano has put into reel is by far one of the best I've ever seen. The color scheme is beautiful, the function is beautiful, every single line, there's no gaps. This thing is like, oh my god, it's it's almost perfect how well built, built this is. The frame on this reel is aluminum, so therefore it's gonna be heavier. Its weight is 7.1 ounces. It's one piece aluminum. So therefore, yeah, it's going to be heavier. It's not your CI4 Plus, the plastic carbon um, composites that they use in their other reels to make it lighter. It is a heavier reel. 12 plus 1 bearings. Max drag is around 8 pounds, uh, which honestly is good enough for the type of fishing that I like to do on the Texas coast in the shallow marsh. It's 100% made in Japan. And another bad thing about this reel, guys, it's not in the U.S. market. Unfortunately, it's only in Japan, and I believe Australia, and the Asian markets in general because of the craze of the BFS. The cost, now this is a pretty penny, all right? This is not your cheap old Shimano, I don't know, Sahara that you can buy, you know, on the rack at Academy for 30, 40 bucks. This is a $450 reel. Yes, it's pretty expensive, however, it's worth it to me because of the type of fishing I like to do and the type of lures I like to throw. And I need good equipment to throw those light lures because that's the type of fishing I like to do. Let's talk about the drag system one more time. As I said, the drag is eight pounds and the drag system itself is absolutely beautiful. I believe it's carbon um, drag washers. So therefore it's really, really strong as is already. And it has a abnormal drag sound to it and then I'm about to show you right now exactly what I mean. Oh that's a slot red. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> I'll take them. So this is the first time I've ever heard a spinning reel type drag system on a bait casting reel let alone a conventional bait casting reel. That drag sound it is awesome. It's beautiful. Music to my ears. Let me show you some real world reviews or real world applications of me catching some big fish using this awesome little BFS reel. Nice. We got another red. Oh, he's got a little bit of drag on him. <laughs> Testing to show this ultra light rod on this old 18. Dang, this is gonna be a slot, guys. 
nice red. That's what I'm talking about here. Look at that, boy. There we go. Got him. Nice. Just another. Oh, how he's pulling. It might be a nice good trout. He's pulling down. He's pulling down. It might be a flounder. Oh, yes. Another. What is this? Oh, it's a redfish. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was a massive trout. <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> right there. There we go. Got him. See? School of redfish right here. Early morning. <laughs> oh man, there he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he's a puller man. There we go. Nice. This is a flounder. Yeah, it's a flounder. It's got to be a flounder. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's not going to be a huge guy, but uh, nonetheless, it's a good. Oh, no, that's a good decent flounder. Look at that boy. <laughs> right at the drop. What I tell you guys from. 0.6 feet all the way to two feet right here. Oh, I don't want any more trout, dude. Don't get me wrong, dude. I like catching them, but I already caught like 30 of these. Well, actually, this guy is going to be my first keeper today. Nice. In that little school right there. All right. Let's keep him here for a sec. Let's see if we can get another one. Yep. These might be a little bit of an upgrade than the first one. Nope, not really. <laughs> oh, yes, nice. Oh, that's a slot red. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> I'll take them. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's a trout. That's got to be a trout. That's got to be a trout. Yep, the head shakes. I feel it. The head shake. Oh, it's a flounder. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> oh. There you have it, ladies and gents. Real world clips of me catching big fish with this awesome little small BFS reel from Shimano. I'm telling you what, if you have the funds and you're able to afford 450 bucks, on a beautiful, well-made, well-machined, all aluminum frame, reel that's designed to throw really light baits like the Bugs Fishing Lures. I encourage you guys to pick one, pick one of these up online. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy one. And then pick up an old 18 ultra light suppressor rod, put them together, put some five pound and six pound braid. You can even put up the 10 pound braid and have a lot of fun because once you start hearing that drag system, on this reel, the clicking sounds like a spinning reel. You're going to be truly amazed. And once you put your hand on the fit and finish and just see how beautiful it is, you're going to be amazed. Once you see how far and accurate you can throw a lure with this, you're going to be amazed. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reel review. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Yes, I know the reels that I review are a little bit more expensive, but then again, I fish a lot, so therefore the equipment that I need has to be good quality and it has to be towards the application of type of fishing I like to do, which is pretty much in line with BFS, what the Japanese like to do. They eat the nest system, throwing small lures to catch big fish. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much. And stay tuned. There's going to be more re real reviews coming in the future. Hit that bell notification and let you guys know when I do release a video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>